Hello, welcome to this video. Today we're looking at Microsoft Whiteboard, this time the browser-based version. So you can access it by clicking on the nine box waffle and then you can make your way to Whiteboard. If it doesn't appear in your initial list, if you click on all apps, it will appear there. When you launch, you'll, it'll look something like this. And then you can see all of your active boards and the little blue symbol indicates that they've been shared. So we're gonna go in and edit this one, which I've already got. So we can add a title and we can click on it to open it. Microsoft also do the whiteboard as an app for iOS and Android. And if you click on the link in the top right hand corner of this video, you'll see the video I've recorded on using the iOS app. But today we're gonna to focus on the browser based version. And as you saw by the title of this whiteboard, I think this could be a great alternative for Padlet. Uh, a lot of you, working with students or wanting a collaborative space that you can use with your students to create ideas, capture discussions. Um, Padlet would have been the go-to tool. I know recently, they, well not recently, a while back now, they introduced a charge. So for some teachers that rules it out because they can't be paying for additional apps. So this could be the perfect thing. It works beautifully inside Teams. Very similar in a way, the functionality is very similar to Google Jamboard. So if you're using Google, with your school or college Google Apps, then you may want to go off and look at my Jamboard video. It's also linked from the pop-up in the top right-hand corner. But today, as I say, we're gonna focus on Microsoft Whiteboard. So since I last looked at this, they've now added a text box and a post-it note function. So in essence, what you can do is you can click on the post-it note, you can type in your note. And then you, having done that, you can move your your note around and you can also delete it from that point so you can move it about until you're ready you can also just add a text box and again when you're happy you can move that up now you can see I've got I've got Grammarly working. Grammarly is great if you're looking for something to check spelling and grammar on browser-based apps. Grammarly is great. I was going to disable it for the moment because it's just getting in the way. But again, you can group them together and move them together by just picking up the corner tab. So I'm happy with those there. You can also draw I'm not sure what that is, but you could draw a picture if that's what you wanted. Yeah, not clearly not an artist, but anyhow. Once you've got your, your board, you can share it and you can turn on link sharing. They will need to sign in, but if you do copy link, you can post that into a VLE or you could share that via a, a Teams community if you wanted them to look at it. If you wanted to work on it live or use it for a demo during live work in a, in a webinar or in a class, then you could obviously share this screen and point to this location. So that's how you copy the link to share it. And when you've finished, you can export the whole thing as a PNG. So it's quite nice. You could work on it collaboratively as a group and then export it. You could also use it in breakout rooms, get each group to, to record their conversations the only thing which I think is missing so far, which I think would be great for it to have, would be an image upload. If it could have an image upload where you could upload stuff and then annotate it, I think that would add an extra layer of activity. But otherwise, really good. As I say, you can erase elements. You can change the color of your pen. You can add text boxes and you can move the different elements around or move the whole thing around. So there you have it a really great way to collaborate with your students whether that be in real time in a classroom or synchronously or asynchronously uh, with remote learning so i hope you found the video useful please give it a like thanks for watching and join me again soon for more edtech videos